Today we will be continuing part 7 of this manhwa. We're here. As the car slowly came to a stop, the driver turned to remind Lu Xing. Lu Xing nodded and stepped off the military vehicle with his bag. In front of him was a huge, heavily guarded military base. Both sides of the base were blocked by tall electrified iron wire fenced walls, and in front of them was a large iron gate that was tightly shut. There are soldiers in uniform standing guard at the gate. There were also a dozen or so young boys and girls who looked about the same age as Lu Xing. They were also carrying suitcases of various sizes. Lu Xing spoke to himself. So this is where the training camp will be held. It looks more like a military base. Lu Xing noticed that all of these people were wearing a brass-colored badges on their left chests. Martial arts badges. Are we supposed to wear that here? It was a pity that Lu Xing's level 2 martial artist badge was left at home and was kept by his mother, Jing Yufen, who thought of it as some kind of treasure. Otherwise, he could have taken it out to show off. As Lu Xing was wandering around, a soldier approached noticing him. Where are you from? Why are you here alone? I am from Baiha City. Something held me up, so I got here late. Lu Xing replied to the soldier. The group of boys and girls stared at Lu Xing and started to whisper among themselves. Someone from Baiha City? Didn't they already go in earlier? How come one person was left behind? Probably someone who came in later. Can't you see that he hasn't even cleared the martial artist assessment? Baiha City has always been at the bottom of the province in terms of academic results. Lu Xing listened to these discussions with a calm expression, his heart as still as water. With his current strength, even if all of these little brats who had just reached the standard of official level one martial artist were to attack him together, they would still not be his match. The middle-aged man looked down at the roster again and raised his head. The Lu Xing that Xiao Yuha, the president of the Baiha Martial Arts Association, mentioned? Lu Xing nodded his head. The middle-aged man understood. The middle-aged man purposely mentioned it, but when it fell into the ears of the other boys and girls present, they saw it in a completely different light. So it's someone that the president of Baiha City's Martial Arts Association especially took care of. No wonder, impressive. You have connections with the president of a city's martial arts association, someone said sarcastically. Lu Xing was fine with it, but the middle-aged man in military uniform raised his eyebrows and shouted, Silence, everyone! The group immediately shut their mouths. The middle-aged man counted the number of people again and confirmed that there were no problems. Then, he said to Lu Xing, Then you can enter with the group from Qingyuan City. Go in for your induction ceremony. The middle-aged man led them around the field and finally brought them to a short building. Put down your luggage. Someone will hand it to you later. The middle-aged man gave the order indifferently. The others didn't think much of it, but Lu Xing sensed something different from his words. However, even if he felt that something was off, Lu Xing still obediently followed behind the group and entered the base under the guidance of the middle-aged man. The students from Qingyuan City didn't know what was going on, but they still obediently followed the middle-aged man's instructions and walked through the small door one by one. Lu Xing was the last in line. When all of them entered the small door, the iron door behind them closed heavily with a clang. They could hear the sounds of iron chains moving and felt the door being locked up. The group underwent a change in emotion. Simultaneously, they heard the voice of the middle-aged man. That is enough. Everyone be quiet. Walk to the exit on the other side, and you'll clear the entrance examination. If you can't, you can pack your bags and go back to where you came from. Good luck. What? Someone immediately shouted. Wasn't this supposed to be an induction ceremony? Why is there an examination? Before he could finish his sentence, they all heard the sounds of cogs spinning and machines moving. The floor of the small room cracked open in the middle. The group of boys and girls lost their balance and fell down while screaming. Lu Xing, however, had detected it before the mechanism even activated. To be precise, the second Lu Xing stepped into this room, he already knew that there was a mechanism hidden beneath the floor and that there was a narrow and complicated passage underground. The sound of bodies landing on the ground, accompanied by a few slight groans of slight pain rang out around him. The boys and girls landed on their feet, one after another. 
After all, they were all official level one martial artists. Even if they were caught off guard, most of them reacted quickly after the mechanism was activated. Only a few were still too panicked and landed on their backs and butts. Lu Xing landed steadily on the ground, without even making a sound. His spiritual power wrapped around his feet like water and then provided a cushioning force. The way it would look would be more akin to floating. This was one of the ways of using spiritual power that Lu Xing has worked out in the dream world. At this moment, what appeared in front of everyone was a sealed passage with four walls made of pure steel plates. It was about two meters wide and could accommodate four people walking side by side. Spirituality as, eyes, a hundred meters in all directions without dead angle detection, open, perspective hanging, this is the basic role. Using x-ray vision was a basic functionality now. Then he spread the spiritual power throughout the surface of his body. Lu Xing estimated that if his spiritual power was strong enough to a certain extent, he could even rely solely on it to detect the exam room for any dangers and traps. Lu Xing detected some dark shadows behind the thick wall of the corridor. Even though he used psychic power to detect the surroundings, he was only able to notice some dark figures standing behind the wall mechanisms. Among the students from Qingyuan City, there was a tall, thin, and handsome boy with a proud expression on his face. He sneered and said, I thought it would be something special, so it's just this. So boring. Someone shouted. Lin Xiaoyu, did you already know that there was something fishy about the induction ceremony? What the hell, why didn't you remind everyone about it earlier? I fell down on my butt, and it hurts so much that I feel it's going to split. The boy called Lin Xiaoyu glanced at him in disdain and said, You don't even have the ability to adapt to the situation and you still have the nerve to call yourself an official martial artist? You. The youth who was ridiculed had a look of shame and anger on his face, but he didn't dare to do anything. All right, stop arguing. We are all from the same city, and it wasn't easy for us to get into this training camp. None of us want to be eliminated. Let's hurry up and think of a way to clear this test. A tall and sweet-looking girl came out to smooth things over. What can we do? We can keep moving forward. Someone said, Didn't the person who led us in just now say that we can clear the examination if we reach the exit? If we stick together, we will definitely be able to pass the subsequent tests. After all, we have ten level one martial artists. Suddenly, Lin Xiaoyu pointed at Lu Xing in the corner and said, What about this guy? He's not from Qingyuan City. Suddenly, all eyes landed on Lu Xing. These people stared at Lu Xing and their expressions gradually became playful. Just in time. Since we don't know what dangers lie ahead, we can use him to test out the way ahead, Lin Xiaoyu suggested. Immediately someone echoed. That's a good idea. The pretty girl from earlier was reluctant. This? I don't think that's a good idea. He's here to participate in the training, just like us. Lu Xing listened in amusement on the side and shook his head and stood out. The boy called Lin Xiaoyu smiled and reassured her. What does it matter? People like him who came in through connections and didn't even pass the level 1 official martial artist test, even if they enter the training camp, will be eliminated in a few days. The boy called Lin Xiaoyu smiled and comforted her. It doesn't matter. People like him who rely on connections to get in and didn't even clear the martial arts assessment will be eliminated in a few days even if he enters the training camp. It doesn't matter. That's right. Yo, you're quite proactive. Lin Xiaoyu nodded and said, Kid from Baiha City, if you behave well, we might consider giving you a hand and let you follow behind us later. Lu Xing smiled with a calm face and said indifferently, Beasts tread alone, while cattle herd together. After saying that, Lu Xing walked towards the passage without looking back. They were stunned. Lin Xiaoyu quickly reacted and a look of shame and anger appeared on his face. How dare you call me cattle? Lin Xiaoyu rushed forward, raised his fist, and tried to punch Lu Xing from behind. At this moment, the steel plates on both sides of the passage between Lin Xiaoyu and Lu Xing suddenly shrank, and a black shadow emerged from the wall. Lin Xiaoyu jumped and retracted his body. Immediately after, as if it was some kind of chain reaction was triggered. Sounds of a series of mechanical clicks and cogs of machines running could be heard behind the steel-plated wall, 
and many black shadows scurried about one after another. In just a few seconds, the originally empty passageway was filled with tall and burly figures. There were black shadows of burly figures blocking their way every few meters, and there was only so much gap left between them. When the group from Qingyuan City saw the black shadows' appearance, their expressions changed. Someone blurted out, Mechanical puppets. Each of the shadows that appeared in the tunnel was nearly two meters tall. The puppets had long arms and legs and had smooth, glossy surfaces. Other than a pair of eyes that glowed with a faint red light, it had no facial features. The teenagers from Qingyuan City all had unsightly expressions on their faces, even Lin Xiaoyu was the same. They looked like they had chewed on a fly. Even the weakest of the mechanical puppets is stronger than a level one martial artist. There are so many of them here. Is the training camp trying to kill us? Someone blurted out. What the hell? This place is so cramped there's nowhere to run. What should I do? Although he had detected them in his spiritual perception, Lu Xing still felt a little strange looking at them standing in front of him. The mechanical puppets were actually a kind of martial arts puppets named after the mechanical wooden puppets that were popular in the ancient martial arts era. It was the product of the combination of modern technology and martial arts. The bodies of these mechanical puppets were completely manufactured by modern industry, but their brains were stored with all kinds of high-level programs that contained all kinds of martial arts moves. Once it was activated, it could display the combat power of an official martial artist. Lin Xiaoyu, who saw this scene from behind, revealed a speechless expression. He said, This country bumpkin from Baiha has probably never seen a mechanical puppet before. These mechanical puppets that have their restrictions lifted would immediately attack once they sensed a moving object approaching. A level one mechanical puppet made from a special alloy, and its fists were extremely hard. A single punch could cause a level 1 martial artist to bleed internally. This brat isn't even a level 1 martial artist, yet he still dares to stick his head out. I reckon he's going to get a concussion. The others were looking at him in anticipation as if they were awaiting a good show. Only the sweet-looking girl had a worried expression. She opened her mouth, wanting to warn Lu Xing, but was afraid of attracting the attention of the mechanical puppets. Just as Lin Xiaoyu said, Lu Xing took two steps forward. The red light in the eyes of the two mechanical puppets flashed, and they raised their fists at the same time, fiercely striking him. Be careful. The sweet-looking girl couldn't help but cry out. Just when everyone thought they were about to see a horrible scene, what happened in the next second made them all widen their eyes. The whole area got covered with smoke. It was unknown what happened to Lu Xing. Everyone was looking at the scene with a sinister smile. They laughed as they blocked the air pressure released from the blow. There were two muffled sounds. Two dark aloe fists the size of bowls were firmly grasped by a fair and slender hand, one on the left and one on the right. During this process, Lu Xing's body did not even sway or waver. Lin Xiaoyu, who had his arms crossed, was also stunned. He suddenly stood up straight, wondering if he had seen it wrongly. He actually, actually caught it. Lin Xiaoyu blurted out with disdain on his face. The Yu's from Qingyuan City had an incredulous expressions on their faces. Level 1 mechanical puppets had alloy skin and iron skeletal system, and their CPI was close to 1000. They also had basic martial arts techniques inbuilt into them, and in actual combat, they could completely crush most level 1 martial artists. Even some level 2 martial artists might not be able to suppress them. After all, they were machines, not humans, and would not get tired or hurt. Just when Lin Xiaoyu and the Yu's from Qingyuan City were in a daze, an even more shocking scene occurred. A teeth-numbing sound of straining machines rang out. The Yu's widened their eyes as they watched. The arms of the two mechanical puppets were slowly being lifted by a pair of fair palms. Lu Xing used his fists to dismember the puppet's body. Because the mechanical parts clashed with the program's instructions, the joints of the mechanical puppet's arms emitted large amounts of sparks, accompanied by ear-piercing sounds. What the someone's mouth was wide open as he let out an incredulous cry. This guy has a strength greater than a level one mechanical puppet. Is he still human? The others were also shocked, and could not find the words to describe their feelings. 
The sweet-looking girl had already covered her mouth with her hands, and her round eyes were filled with shock and astonishment. Ha! At this time, a peal of laughter suddenly rang out. Everyone looked towards the source of the sound and saw Lin Xiaoyu laughing loudly. He shook his head and said humbly, I was almost fooled by the people from the training camp. How are these level one mechanical puppets? They are clearly underperforming products that are not even level one. Their actual CPI is far from a real level one, and they are only trying to bluff us through their stature. This should be the case. If there were truly so many level one mechanical puppets here, how could anyone clear the test? Lin Xiaoyu pointed at Lu Xing, who was still calm as he stopped the two mechanical puppets, causing sparks to fly everywhere. With an exaggerated expression, he shouted at everyone. Do you guys really think that this guy, who took a backdoor entry to the camp, and isn't even a level 1 martial artist could withstand the attacks of two level 1 mechanical puppets, simultaneously? The youths blinked their eyes, and their expressions were a little confused. It was obvious that they could not follow Lin Xiaoyu's train of thought. Forget it, it's hard to explain to a bunch of idiots like you. Lin Xiaoyu waved his hand in defeat and slowly moved forward. If you don't understand, then open your eyes wide and watch how I clear the test. Lin Xiaoyu flicked his hair and suddenly sped up, and then confidently rushed towards the two mechanical puppets in front of him. Lin Xiaoyu's figure was as fast as an arrow, and in the blink of an eye, he was in front of the two mechanical puppets. He jumped and kicked the head of the puppet, which made it fall to the ground. The youths standing behind them were also surprised and thought the puppets to be fake. Lin Xiaoyu turned around and arrogantly raised his hands to show his prowess, stepping on the puppet's head. As he was arrogantly laughing, the puppets pulled a punch. The eyes of the two mechanical puppets that were silent suddenly glowed red. At the same time, they punched out. A figure suddenly flew back, and with a bam, and heavily smashed into the innermost wall. Lin Xiaoyu's body slowly slid down the wall like a rag cloth, and his expression twitched. He slowly raised a hand as if he wanted to grab something. What the hell? This is not a level 1 mechanical puppet, it's, it's a level 2. After saying this, Lin Xiaoyu's head dropped, and he directly fainted. The others saw everything that happened in a flash, and their mouths started to open bit by bit, and their expressions were so shocked that they could not say a word. The sweet little girl looked up in Lu Xing's direction and thought, Just what exactly is his rank to take down a rank 2 puppet with no effort? Its internal structure is far more complicated than I imagined it to be. Lu Xing's spiritual power probed into the mechanical puppet's body. After carefully studying it for a while, he quickly lost interest. A series of loud noises reverberated in the narrow passageway, and the eyelids of the youths couldn't help but twitch. The youths couldn't find a more suitable word to describe the figure in the distance. Looking at the mechanical puppets that had fallen to the ground like scrap metal, the hearts of the youths were wailing. Lu Xing knocked down each and every mechanical puppet in front of him one by one. With his spiritual power, he could inspect the internal structure of these mechanical puppets, and easily find the core of each mechanical puppet. Then attack their weak points. It was very easy. He didn't even need a second hit to knock down each mechanical puppet. Just as Lu Xing crushed the skull of a mechanical puppet, his expression suddenly changed. He could clearly see that, in front of the passageway, there was a figure rapidly approaching him. Lu Xing's eyes lit up slightly, and a look of anticipation appeared on his face. At the same time, a handsome youth was rushing through the passageway. He held something that looked like a remote control tightly in his hand. There were more than ten buttons on the remote control, and above each button was a corresponding green light. In just a few minutes, more than eighty percent of the green lights turned red. Looking at the blinding red lights, the youth's face filled with anxiety. What the hell? What's going on? Why are all the mechanical puppets malfunctioning all of a sudden? Didn't they just arrive? The youth was burning with anxiety. How much could a group of kids who had just reached the standard of a level 1 martial artist damage a level 2 mechanical puppet? Was that even possible? Even if they used all their tricks and knowledge they would probably only be able to break the paint on the mechanical puppet's outer shell. Thinking of this, the youth's footsteps quickened. Finally, he reached the end of the passageway. 
From afar, he saw a lean and handsome youth boy amidst a pile of scrap metal, slowly pulling his arm out of a mechanical puppet's chest. When the youth noticed his arrival, he did not look surprised at all. Instead, he looked excited. His crystal clear eyes gradually glowed, and there was a burning desire to fight in them. You're finally here. Has the second test finally begun? You've made me wait for too long. The youth's expression was a little confused. His gaze fell on the mechanical puppets that were in a terrible state, and his mind went blank for a moment, losing the ability to think. His heart began bleeding. Suddenly, a gust of wind sounded in his ears. The youth's hair stood on end, and he instinctively retreated. Then, a young figure leaped high in front of him. His figure blocked the light from the top floor of the passageway, casting a shadow on his face. All the youth could see was a pair of burning eyes filled with anticipation. Come, guardian of the second test, I hope you won't disappoint me. The youth was confused. When did I become the guardian of the second stage? Also, where the fuck did this second test come from? In a huge control room. Dong Qingxue stood in front of a huge table with her head lowered as she flipped through some documents. Her well-tailored dark blue uniform accentuated her perfect figure. Her slender legs were slightly crossed under the table. Even though they were wrapped in long pants, they were still as beautiful as a painting. Across from Dong Qingxue, in front of a large display screen and numerous buttons, a slender and handsome young man held a cup of coffee in his hand. As he admired the scene in front of him, he sighed from the bottom of his heart. What a pleasant and blissful day! Dong Qingxue raised her head and looked at the young man, whose epaulette had only one less star than hers. Her slender brows furrowed into beautiful lines on her pretty face. If you're really free, please come over and help me review the documents. Major Qin Xiaojun. The young man took a sip of his coffee and laughed. He avoided her gaze as he said, I'm busy, Lieutenant Colonel Qingxue. Besides, you're the main person in charge of the prodigy training camp this time. I'm just a temporary assistant. The young man took a few sips of coffee. Perhaps he was bored, so he glanced over slowly. His eyes scanned the documents scattered on the table casually as he asked, How is it? How's the quality of this year's prodigy training camp? Not good. Dong Qingxue shook her head and said calmly, There are only eight people in total who can be considered seedlings that meet our standards. All of them are official martial artists who have awakened their talents. Five of them are average. They only awaken the most common strength type talents. The other three. Dong Qingxue picked out three documents from the pile and tossed them to the young man. One of them is a speed-type talent, and the other is a defense-type talent. Both of them have reached the standard of level 2 martial artists. This one is the most outstanding. The young straightened out in anticipation. Dong Qingxue picked out another document from the pile. She pointed at a girl with a determined gaze in the picture and said, Xia Lin, 17 years and 8 months old. She awakened her spiritual power less than 2 years ago. She's close to becoming a level one spiritual master. She also has excellent talent in martial arts. She's about to enter level two. Isn't that good? The young man exclaimed with an exaggerated expression. An absolute genius, just like you back then. Her gaze is also very similar to yours. Qingxue, I think this little girl is fated to follow you. Stop fooling around. Dong Qingxue shook her head but there was still a hint of emotion in her eyes. She said, This girl is indeed very good. I've already listed her to be the focus of this training camp. The others aren't bad either. The young man tried to find a document that was pleasing to his eyes from the pile of documents on the screen. He was about to take a sip from his coffee when a series of ear-piercing alarms rang out of nowhere. It was very unsettling in the empty command room. What's wrong? Both of them were startled. Qin Xiaojun quickly operated on the table. Passageway 12 When the information for Passageway 12 was pulled out, Qin Xiaojun suddenly screamed as if he had seen a ghost. He could not even hold the coffee in his hand properly, and it spilled all over the floor. Degree of damage 80%, degree of damage 87%, degree of damage. Fuck! There were a total of 20 mechanical puppets 
and more than fifteen of them are over eighty percent damaged. They're almost scrapped. Dong Qingxue, when did you let in a level four martial artist? Hurry up and pull up the surveillance footage. Dong Qingxue urged him while her eyes were glued to the big screen. Qin Xiaojun did not care about spilling coffee all over his hands and floor. He wiped them on his clothes and hurriedly pulled up the surveillance footage. Hurry up! Let's go to passageway 12! The two of them hurriedly rushed out of the control room. A mechanical puppet was sent flying by an invisible force and fell to the ground. The mechanical puppet's eyes flashed with a red light as it stood up shakily. There was a depression of a few centimeters on its chest. Xia Lin, one of the examinees, looked at the mechanical puppet with vigilance. Only when she was sure that it was the same as the previous mechanical puppet and would no longer attack after being knocked down once did she let out a sigh of relief. This was the last mechanical puppet. This also meant that she had passed this time's entrance examination. Xia Lin quickly walked towards the exit. When she was near the exit, she stopped and looked behind her with a pensive expression. Her spiritual strength told her that someone was hiding there. A person who gave her a strong sense of danger was at least level three or above. He didn't come out to stop me, which means that he's not part of the examination. He should be one of the supervisors in charge of the examination, Xia Lin guessed. Xia Lin reached out and opened the door to the exit. Light shone in from outside. Only then did she completely relax. Xia Lin walked out of the small door. She suddenly realized that there were many soldiers in uniforms gathered outside the door. However, these people were obviously not here for her. Each of them had a nervous expression on their face as if they were about to face a great enemy. They were staring in a direction to the side. Xia Lin looked in that direction curiously. She saw another small door. Just as Xia Lin was puzzled, the small door was pushed open from the inside. The moment the small door was opened, Xia Lin who had sharp senses, immediately noticed everybody's bodies tense up. They seemed to be afraid and nervous about something. Out of curiosity, Xiao Lin released her spiritual power and carefully probed inside the door. Suddenly, Xiao Lin's body stiffened. She saw two people through her spiritual perception. The person was fighting with another, and the person had obviously noticed Xiao Lin's presence. From the darkness, that person slowly peeked out half of his body, revealing a fair and handsome young face. It was a young man about the same age as her. Xia Lin looked into the young man's eyes in a daze. From those crystal clear eyes, she could feel traces of scorching heat and even deeper coldness that had yet to fade away. In an instant, Xia Lin's mental perception was like a startled tentacle that suddenly retracted and wrapped around her tightly. Xia Lin quickly retreated into the small door that she had just walked out of, and slammed the exit door shut, which startled all the soldiers present in the room. She leaned against the door tightly as her full chest heaved up and down violently. Her heart was beating wildly. At this moment, there was only one thought left in Shailin's mind. That person was so scary! Do you know what's going on inside? When Dong Qingxue and Qin Xiaojun arrived at the entrance of Passageway 12, it was already surrounded by the soldiers of the training camp. A soldier walked quickly to Qin Xiaojun and reported in a low voice, The surveillance cameras near the entrance have been destroyed. We don't know what's going on inside yet. What about the supervisors inside? We lost contact three minutes ago. We were about to report this to our superiors. Qin Xiaojun's face was expressionless he said calmly. Give me a copy of the information of all the students who entered Passageway 12. Immediately. Yes, sir. Soon, the square-faced middle-aged man brought a stack of information to Qin Xiaojun. However, strangely, Dong Qingxue shook her head. Forget it, there's no need. The square-faced man was stunned. He did not understand the reason. At this moment, a muffled sound came from the small door at the entrance of Passageway 12 not far away. This loud sound seemed to have struck the hearts of everyone present. The square-faced man and his subordinates instantly became nervous. The soldiers immediately readied themselves for battle. They were just waiting for their commander's order to immediately pounce on the person who walked out of the door and subdue him. Or they would be subdued. 
The small door that belonged to passageway 12 was slowly pushed open from the inside. The sunlight cast on a silhouette. A figure slowly peeked from the darkness. Everyone's nerves began to tense. However, when they saw the figure's face clearly, they relaxed instantly. The person who walked out of the door was a young man. He was just a kid who wasn't very old. He was handsome and had clear eyes. He had a clean look to him. To think that they were so nervous just now. Some of them even revealed self-deprecating smiles when they thought of how they were facing a great enemy just now. But in the next moment, the smiles on their faces froze. It was as if they had seen something extremely terrifying. Their eyes widened, and their pupils gradually revealed an extremely shocked and fearful expression. The young man walked out of the darkness. He raised a hand in front of his forehead, as if to block the sun. The other hand seemed to be dragging something heavy. A body covered in dust and blood was dragged out of the tunnel by the young man with one hand, casually throwing it on the ground that was bathed in sunlight. You are not from Qingyuan City, are you? Where are you from? Dong Qingxiu asked the young man. Just as she asked, the body fell to the ground, revealing the face of an unconscious man. A soldier recognized this face and stammered. It's... it's the missing Lieutenant Wang. He was an officer in the base, and many people knew him. He was a level three martial artist with decent strength. This time, he was in charge of overseeing Passageway 12. But now, this young Marshal Dao powerhouse was dragged and thrown on the ground like a dead dog. Everyone was stunned. I am from Baiha City, Lu Xing. Lu Xing replied to Dong Qingxue. You have got some nerve, kid. Putting aside the fact that you recklessly destroyed those expensive mechanical puppets, but you even beat up the supervising inspector. Qin Xiaojun said in a sarcastic tone. Lu Xing, while scratching his face in embarrassment, said, That is a misunderstanding. I thought that was part of the assessment. He was really strong, so I did not hold back. The place fell into an eerie silence. There was the sound of someone gulping. Dong Qingxue looked at Lu Xing with scorn in her eyes. Dong Qingxue released her psychic power. Her whole body was covered with a purple aura and suddenly some purple snakes charged at Lu Xing. Lu Xing remained calm in the face of a psychic master. The energy entered Lu Xing's body and passed through, checking out Lu Xing's whole body. Dong Qingxue was satisfied that there was no hidden agenda behind Lu Xing's actions. Student Lu Xing from Baiha City, congratulations on passing the entrance examination. Dong Qingxue said to Lu Xing, Go get some rest, a staff member will lead you to your dorms. The level two mechanical puppets are like toys in his hands. That first lieutenant with the ability of a level three martial artist didn't last more than a minute against him. Qin Xiaojun looked at Dong Qingxue in shock and said, This kid is a monster, a monster in actual combat. His combat power is off the charts. It's not just 15,000, it's probably 100,000. He's comparable to a level four martial artist. Dong Qingxue's expression was just as complicated. I assessed him with my psychic power, but I did not notice anything. So, what are you going to do with this Lu Xing now? Qin Xiaojun could not help but ask. Dong Qingxue's eyes flashed as she replied, I haven't thought about it yet, but I'm sure my previous judgment of Lu Xing was wrong. For the time being, let's train him as the top seed, like Xia Lin. After all, Dong Qingxue looked at the tall and lean figure on the screen. She took a deep breath and said slowly, Talent ability aside, what he's shown so far is already shocking enough. Qin Xiaojun understood what Dong Qingxue meant. That's all for today. If you like the next part of this manhwa just comment below. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to like, subscribe and comment for getting epic content on this channel. See you next time.